Hi, so now we have our project up and running. So let's open the terminal. This is our server right now. And this is our admin panel. And we can navigate to home. Yeah, just like this. And this is our folders. This is the project folder. So let's keep it like here, like this. And let's stop the server. Let's clear the screen. And now it's time that we create our app. So first I'm gonna say Bison manage to buy but make sure that you have your virtual environment already activated and I'm gonna say start app movie so this is a little hint when you create a new app try to add this the app name as a single name not a plural don't type it as movies because Django already do this for you so you're gonna add it as movie and when you open the Django admin you're gonna find it as movies so let's say to enter. So we've just created a new app with the name of movie. So let's open this. We have some files. So this is an init for making it this as a module. A package, sorry. Let's close the Xcode. Yes, this is admin. We use this file to add our, our model to the Django admin. We will see it. And this is the models. We use it to design our models. This is the test. We, we want to use it or even apps. This is the view which we will use to move move apps from one uh, to show the apps to show the models from the database. So if we have a lot of a lot of movies and we want to show it, so we're gonna use the views to show it to the users. Don't worry, we will take a look at it actually. So now it's our time. We need to open this code and VS or code. I'm gonna use VS code. You can use Sublime or Atom or whatever editor you're using. So let's close this. So now I have the movie. I have models. I'm going to use this models to start designing our model. But first, there's something that we need to know. Every time you create a new app, first you need to add this app to the settings the BY and the installed apps. So here we're going to add our movie app. Yeah, just like this so now we've created our movie app so let's load this and let's open models so we need to design our model so I'm gonna say class movie and when we're designing a new model in Django this model must inherit from models that model and Django so now we have a lot of information that we need to add to our movie model so let's open supply so we have this outline. So let's save it in our project folder. So let's open in desktop. So let's open the tutorials, IMDB clone, the SRC, and this is the outline. MD. Okay. So we have the title, the description, the tags, and a lot of things in here. So let's keep this and let's add it in here. Yeah. So first we have the title. So when I say title equal to models dot dwarf hero. And actually the title is important, so we the user must add a title to add a movie. We just need to add a max length equal to let's just say like 100 100 models. 100 letter. So we need to add the description equal to models dot text field and let's give it max length equal to 1000 word, 1000 letter, and let's keep the text for now. And we have the views count. We have the image, so let's add image. Image equal to models dot image field, and this image field will upload this images to, and we're gonna say movie. The moves, yeah. And so we've added those. We've added this image. So we have category, so, and we have language. So okay, so we can add those add the choices. 
So well, let's add them as the choices. So here I'm going to say category choices, just like this. So in category, if we take a look at our front end, let's open index. So we have action, comedy, drama, and romance. So we have so we have action and we have drama and we have comedy. Sorry. and we have romance okay and this is we can we will call it as a this is d the first letter this is c and this is r okay so we need to do another choices for let's first add category category equal to models dot sure field sorry and we're gonna see choices equal to and we're gonna add this name category choices and we're gonna see also max length equal to one yeah, just like this so now with edit category, so we have the language, so we have how many languages we have, so we have English and German, and we can add another, so and so on. So let's add the language choices, there is a language choices, so we have English in German so this is English and this is German yeah so I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna say language equal to and this is language choices and the max length is actually equal to so those are two layers so we've added the language we have the status, so let's add status choices. So we're gonna see status choices equal to so we have recently added so this is or a instead of which extends for recently and we have most watched so mw for most watched and we have top rated so this is tr stands for top rated yeah just like this and let's duplicate this and we're gonna see the status. So this is status choices, and the max length is two. Okay, so let's remove this. And for the download links, we're gonna do another model, and for the watch links, we're gonna do also another model. Now we still have the year of production, so you can see year of production equal to and we say models do date field so read this and the view count so this is just an integer so we're gonna say views count equal to models of the integer field 
and we will give it a default value equal to zero. So we need just to add the tags, the download links, and the watch links. So don't worry about those, we will add them. So let's let's save this and let's run our server to see if there is an errors or whatever. So let's run our server. Here we are. So this is the max length is Mrs. Build actually. And movie. So cannot use image field because below is not installed. So if we wanna need to install below, we're gonna type bib install below. So let's install below. So now we have blue installed. So if you type bib freeze, we're gonna see that we have Django, blue, bytz, and SQL parse. Okay, so let's run our server. Now everything is working fine. So now we've, we've changed our models to by file. We've added some new models. So we need those models to be applied to our database. But first, before we do this, let's open our database. I'm gonna use SQLite browser. It's a simple app that you can download from Google. So this is a simple SQLite browser. So let's open. So let's move to the desktop. The dev tutorials, the IMDB clone, the SRC, and here is our database. So now we have. 11 table so this table is the group the permissions the user the user groups and this tables came from Django to enable us to see an admin the the users and the groups so now let's run our migration because we've changed something in the models so we're gonna say Bison manage manage to by make migrations just to enable Django to detect the, the change and see if it's correct or wrong so now we have create model movie. This is awesome. So now we're gonna say Bison manage by migrate to apply these migrations to our database. So those migrations have been applied. So we have admin, both content types, movie, and session. This is our model. So now let's open the database again and let's open the browse data. So we have those tables only, so let's refresh. We open we have movie underscore movie this so that we have ID title what is this ID actually Django by default add an ID to those fields so we've added title description and so on and Django added an ID by default so we have ID title description image category language status year of production view scale okay this is awesome so now let's run our server and let's refresh our admin panel to add a movie so lots of admin. But where is movies? There is no movie in here. So every time you create an app or create a model for the first time, you need to add this model to the Django admin repository. So on this Django, let's cover this name. And this Django admin, we're gonna say from dot models import this movie. And we're gonna say admin site dot register this movie so let's save this and let's refresh our admin here we are so we have movies as i said before django by default add the polar name so now we have movies not movie so let's add here we are so now we're gonna add a title so let's take a title from from those so we have john wick or spider-man homecoming so let's see spider man um, come on. yeah so we're gonna say so let's take some dummy data from here yeah and let's move down so we need an image so we need to get this the image of this spider-man so let's open our project front end images so we have this image so I'm gonna edit in the desktop 
I just copied it into the desktop. So here, let's choose file. Let's move to the desktop, and we should see the Spider-Man image. So we have... Sorry. So let's make sure. Three, that's rubbish, yeah. Sorry. So we're gonna search for three. Okay, so let's cover it again. So now let's cancel it and let's upload again. So now we have this image for Spider-Man. So let's choose. And we have the category. So this is action. Actually, the action missed the T letter. So don't worry, we can edit. We have the language. So this is English. And we have the status. So this is recently added. And we have the year of production. So let's say this is or we can add in one more yeah the views count is zero so let's hit save and here we are so we've added a movie so what in this movie object we need the title of this movie to be added to on the last view so let's change this our models of BY let's add our unicode method so we're gonna see dev str which will take some from us and it will return whatever you want so we're gonna say Return self the title to return the title for us. So let's refresh. Here we are. So now we have Spider Man Home coming. We can add another movies and so on. So everything is working fine. And if we take a look at our code, we will see something amazing. So we have a movies folder. And if we open this movie, so we're going to see that we have an image for a Spider Man movie. So let's open our project. So let's move down. So we have movies folder. If we open it, we're gonna see that Django uploaded the image to this folder. So don't worry when we add MIDI and static files configuration, this folder will be added to the MIDI. So don't worry. So now we've added our Django app, we've designed our models, and everything's working fine. We just need to add uh, the views for our Django models, and we're gonna do this in the next lecture. See you next lecture.